Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Clay and I'm going to show you how to do a beginner friendly makeup tutorial. If you're interested in seeing how I came from looking like this onto looking like this, make sure to stay tuned after the intro. So uh, I'm just keeping the uh, steps very bare and also uh, easy for those of you who are getting into makeup. These are the steps that I consider that are the essentials. Just keep in mind, if you are starting in makeup, do not spend a fuck ton of money on shit. Better off for you to spend very little than uh, spending a lot of money and figuring out, oh, I actually don't like makeup. This is where you can get your toes a little wet. First things first you're gonna need to do is to wash your face with soap and then put on some moisturizer. I'm pretty sure everyone has that. Then after when your face is dry, you're going to need a primer. I am going to be using the CoverGirl uh, Simply Ageless Primer. Some good recommendations for drugstore products is um, NYX has a good one, but they're a little pricey. And also ELF has a few good ones also. But due to I am getting old, I am using the Ageless Primer. And I'm just gonna take that and rub that all over the face. Basically, I just wanna get that into the pores where it will protect my skin. My skin is a little extra dry. I'm gonna take a little more and put that on my forehead because it is huge. Next we're going to go into foundation. I'm going to be using the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation and just for the sake of the video I'm just only going to be using four brushes and one sponge. We're going to put this on the back of the hand. A few good recommendations for foundation is Uma Beauty by Sharon C but that is a little pricey for a drugstore. Also another good one is a lot of people swear by Milani. Maybelline does make a good foundation also but uh, they're they're not cruelty free so I don't promote them and also a lot of people swear by L'Oreal but they're not cruelty free nor I have tried their products so I can't really vouch for them. L'Oreal CC cream has great coverage also but it's a little pricey for drugs along with that they don't have that great of a shade range. Neither does this company has a great shade range but like this is five bucks. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Oh yeah, and also a lot of people swear by ColourPop, but I really haven't tried their latest foundation since they discontinued the last one. Now I'm gonna go in with a basic sponge and sort of just tap out the skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with some setting powder. Uh, so I'm gonna be using the uh, Cody Airspun uh, Loose Face Powder. This has been around since 1935. Uh, my grandmother's grandmother used this and it's still good. Last time I checked, it's still $6, unless uh, inflation uh, got a hold of that too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in the T-zone. Basically, we're just gonna go around the face where you're going to attend to a crease. In my opinion, a few good affordable products are a lot of people swear by the uh, CoverGirl setting powder, but I have not tried that yet. CoverGirl is owned by Cody, so they're the same price. If you like a mattifying setting powder, that's going to make your foundation look matte. What will control? Another good one is the the Wet n Wild one. I don't use it because I have a dry skin disorder. Matte products don't work well for me, but it did make my makeup last very long. Next, we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer Powder in the shade One Natural, and we're just gonna use a basic powder brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the powder, go at the beginning of the forehead, sort of swirl it there for a little while because that's where you naturally get tan and whatever's left over you sort of just bring it down and that's going to add warmth and dimension to your face. A few good cheap bronzers depending on what you define as cheap is the Physicians Formula bronzers. No they finally went cruelty free. A lot of people swear by the Milani bronzers but I have not tried very much of Milani. Now that we warmed up the face I'm going to go ahead and go in with some blush. I'm going to be using the uh Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade 5 Illuminoso. I really like this blush formula because it does have a luminosity to it. If you're not wanting to buy highlighter, but you still want a little bit of a glow, this is probably gonna be your best bet. So I'm just gonna go in with the same powder brush, knock off the residue, and we're gonna start off with the side of the cheeks right here. I do the side because I have higher cheekbones because I'm half Cherokee'd. We're just gonna go ahead and sort of just swirl it in there and sort of knock it through uh, the eye area and sort of just bring it upwards. Whatever's left over, we're just gonna take towards the side of the nose. You see how it gives like that luminous effect? And a few good recommendations. Uh, I've only used Milani when it came to blushes because <laughs> 
a lot of the drugstore uh, blushes look like clown makeup. I have like trust issues. A lot of people swear by L'Oreal. Also, um, Physician's Formula possibly has a few good ones, but like they have like multiple colors and one pan. And I'm just like, no, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on the other side of the nose. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the eyes. So if you don't wanna buy an eyeshadow palette, a uh, good way that you can go ahead and do an eye look, it's gonna be simple, it's going to be natural, is to use your bronzer and your blush. If you're wanting more of like a neutral beige eye, uh, just take your brush, which I'm gonna use a, a big blending brush. Just take it through the eye and you just build it up to the opacity that where you want it at. We're gonna do that on the other side. A few good palettes if you do end up uh, investing into eyeshadow palettes. Pretty much all of them has the same formula in my opinion, except for one company. And that's Icy Wifey. She does have like two palettes out there. That's the only eyeshadow palette that I really can honestly say, yo, they have a phenomenal Phenomenal formula. Morphe, uh, their quality sort of went downhill. They are still a little expensive for a drugstore product. But like, honestly, if you want a big palette, you want to look, look a little subtle and just do like an everyday palette, just get like a basic neutral palette. Oh yeah, and also another good palette uh, that I forgot about is the LA Girl palettes. They have a phenomenal formula for the price point because I paid like for like a, 11 pan eyeshadow palette for like $11 and I was surprised. I really haven't tried too many drugstore eyeshadow palettes uh, such as like from L'Oreal, CoverGirl. I don't think CoverGirl makes anything. I haven't tried very much from Milani. Milani might make some, a few good ones. Uh, I would just watch other people's reviews over drugstore eyeshadow palettes. A lot of people go nuts of Perfusion. Her eyeshadows are okay for the price, I guess. But they do have like a few cute ones that, that I can see. But I tried them and I was like, eh. Uh, no, thank you. And to add a little more shine to the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take this lum luminous blush to just go in the inner corner of my fingers. Continuing with the eyes, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. A few good mascaras in my opinion. Uh, if you don't know how to do mascara, watch a video or just watch me. A few good mascaras in my opinion. This is good and cheap for, uh, you wanna add a little more volume and look subtle, but also not look like completely natural. Uh, if you wanna look completely natural, the CoverGirl Clean Mascara in the green tube is really good. They have like a, a few blacks and also a few browns. A lot of people swear by L'Oreal, but once again, I never tried L'Oreal. Also, another good mascara a lot of people swears by, but I'm not a fan of, is the Lash Princess by Essence. I'm gonna go ahead and take some setting spray. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, the original, and just spray that all over the skin. In my opinion, this is the only setting spray that's worth a damn on the drugstore market. I've not tried luxury uh, setting sprays because why would I pay a crap ton of money for a setting spray. Morphe's formula is okay. It used to be better. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that sponge and sort of just merge products into the skin. And I'm just gonna take the end of this sponge here and sort of just tap out the under eye and also go around the nose. And I'm going to blend out the forehead. And the last step, we're going to work on the lips. You can either go in with just a clear gloss or you can make your own lipstick if you don't wanna spend extra money on lipstick. So how you would make your own lipstick is you would take your blush or your bronzer if you want a nude lip and sort of just put that on the lips and I'm going to take some gloss this is the Believe Beauty uh, lip gloss that you can get at Dollar General it's five dollars do not spend over ten dollars on a lip gloss and we're just going to take that and put that on the lips a few good lip glosses that I have tried the Milani lip gloss the Rimmel London uh, lip glosses now let's talk about lipsticks if you're going to invest into a lipstick a few good lipsticks in my opinion from the drugstore store is the Milani lipsticks. I've used those consistently for years. Juvia's Place makes a good lipstick, but they're a little pricey. Another good lipstick that I recently purchased is the e.l.f. lipstick. They have a very good formula. Also, uh, Wet n Wild, a lot of people swear by Wet n Wild's lipsticks. I have not tried them. So yeah, this is the complete look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video to all your friends. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Remember to do all things with love, and until next time, 